Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course I'm here with the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angara. And I thought we should go for a swim. I absolutely love swimming. I have since I was a child. Um, every summer you would find me in the river. It was called the Weber River. And now that I've moved to the south, I've changed my mind. Are you talking? You talking? So <laughs> I've never actually seen a real river before. The Weaver River, I would probably call it Creek after seeing, you know, the Mississippi. But even the rivers here, when I first moved here, they were like, hey, let's go swim across the river. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, that's a lake. <laughs> so yeah, the rivers are really, really small in Utah, but I was always in the river every summer, no matter what. And when I moved here, I just started swimming with all of the animals and they absolutely adore it. If you introduce them while they're young, almost all of them love swimming. It cools them off, it cleans them off. It's just fun, right? You wanna go to the pool? <gasps> we should bring Sakse. Do you wanna introduce Sakse to the pool? Angara adores Sakse right now. He just thinks she's the cutest thing ever, huh? Let's go get her, let's go get her. <laughs> really cool to kind of give you a different perspective of the hyena swimming and all of the other animals swimming. Right now we're actually in our big tour yard. This is where the guests come and watch us swim with giant tigers. Sometimes we bring out a hyena or a jaguar, but the guests actually sit behind the glass over here. They eat pizza and they get a watch from an entirely new perspective what it's like underwater. I just think it's absolutely amazing. I don't know if you can see this right now. She has her feet rolled under. This is a hyena thing that they do. I'm not entirely sure why they do it, but when she gets excited about things, when she needs to get down closer, it's kind of like a warthog. She rolls those down and she can actually walk kind of on her elbows. Did you see that yawn? Will you show them your teeth? There is an amazing set of teeth in there. Those are some bone crushers. She absolutely adores the water. And the water is actually 92 degrees right now, so it's very, very calming and comforting. I got a hold of her. She knows she's safe. I know it's kind of a funny thing to say, but predators do get scared. And a scared predator is actually more dangerous than a mad predator. What you think, lady? Those are some serious bone crushers. Hyenas actually come in and finish the bones that even lions leave behind, right? These guys, I call them the janitors or the moms. They're just always cleaning up everyone else's mess. These guys actually do make more kills than lions do. I heard recently that a hyena specialist was gonna sue Disney for how bad Disney did the hyenas. <laughs> so the hyena specialist, of course, thinks that these animals were done wrong in every single way, but we always have to have a bad guy, right? So Disney just came up with the hyenas being a bad guy. A lot of people tell me that they're ugly, and that's, I think, because they told them they were bad guys. Look at her. She's adorable. She's like a big puppy. <laughs> Of course, I've told you before, she's not a puppy, she's a kitty. They call this Filiform, so it's a cat-like predator. Oh, and she loves your good scratches. Oh, you get to be good scratches in. Just like all of us, the animals want to be comforted, they want to be loved, they want to be touched, they want to know they're safe, and that they always get enough food, huh? Yeah, good girl, you're such a good sweet girl. More than anything, I think it's just because we have a natural fear of predators, right? Because they prey on us, so we're naturally afraid of them. But one thing we're not naturally afraid of is prey animals. But some prey animals can be very, very dangerous. A lot more people than you think actually get killed by buffalo in America. So when a buffalo gets scared, he doesn't really care if you're standing anywhere near him. He's gonna take off running, he's gonna fight for his life, he thinks there might be a predator behind him, and that's what makes a buffalo so dangerous. Where a predator like this is way more calculating, way less afraid. So he's actually dealing with things after he's thought it through. This animal is incredibly intelligent. Another thing that people probably don't think about is how truly playful these predators are. I swear, it's a puppy. It's just a happy little puppy. Today is the greatest day of her life. Yesterday was the greatest day of her life. Tomorrow is gonna be the greatest day of her life. Why don't we all live like puppies? Get on, got it in his little pool. 
float. Oh, there you go. You're so good at this, aren't you? I got you, babe. Lean forward. He's off on adventure! Yeah, look at how good he is kicking. What do you think about Saxe swimming? Do you think that she'll learn how to swim? I go here, and we go. Yay! I go here. See if I can help you. What do you think, huh? Those are my new glasses. Let's go. Whee! You can kick too, Angada. You could help. Look how good you kick. Look how good you kick. You're such big boy. Yeah, you're such big boy. And this is a bird. We got a bird. Yeah, it's a bird. It's a bird. <laughs> started introducing Angada to the pool maybe around six months old and just did it really really slow right just just sat on the edge of the pool with him we slowly introduced him to the floaty this is actually his third floaty I think so he's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and we just keep buying new floats for him I did try to introduce him to like a little onesie that's a life vest it might still be another minute or two before he thinks that's super cool because it's just not as stabilizing, I guess. Where this one, you can see, is super stable. He can totally kick and play and push himself around and he feels entirely comfortable in this. I don't know when, but one day he might just go, I don't need it no more and go for a swim. That's what happened in the past to the other great apes. Are you gonna be a swimmer? Are you? You good boy. <laughs> Saxe loves the pool. She is actually a little bit of a mama's girl. She adores Angada, but she's stuck on me, huh? Yeah. Do you like it, Saxe? Do you like going on an adventure? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I knew you would like it. You're such a good girl. Yeah. Huh? Mwah. She's comfortable because the temperature is just right. She's got Angada, she's got me. I think that I think this actually worked out. I think this was pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't already, why not subscribe, like, comment, and remember, stay wild.